like your real name, mm -hmm. close to birth or birth certificate status. But yeah, no, but it's an identity. Totally. And then the other will be passed on to other androids in the future, which at the very least is a comforting thought. Um, what was the biggest challenge for you in, in getting to a point where you could you could combine these two? A star in the robotic firmament, a wild and poetic artist, a master of harmony and the grand cosmic. Physically, so she's got sensors. We, we've a, we've actually we've turned her off. Yes. Um, yeah. So that she doesn't come out with anything. Number ten, Michaela Souza. Michaela, or Little Michaela, as she's known on the internet, is not your average Instagram model. She's a 19-year-old robot living in LA. Yes, you heard that right. The exuberant teen is not a real human. She's an artificial influencer whose parent company, Brud, is now worth $125 million. Hi, guys. Michaela. Hey. Woo. Hi. Thanks for having me. Okay, that. I've seen people in public like like that I've never seen like met before, and I just scream out their handle, like your real name, mm -hmm. close to birth or birth certificate status. But yeah, no, but, it's an identity. Totally. And then the other. See, robots and aliens, I like to think, are friends because they're just trying to survive in a world that's made for humans. Michaela is a musician, model, and trailblazer of modern technology. Recently partnering with Pack Sun Clothing, Michaela is now taking her influence inside the metaverse. She may be computer generated, but her influence is real. Number nine, Erica. Humans are all set to lose their exclusive right of possessing humor, an emotion usually attributed only to human beings. A team of research scientists from Kyoto University in Japan have developed artificial intelligence system of a robot named Erica, which can now emulate human laughter in the right amount and at the right situation. Erica enjoys the theater and animated films, would like to visit Southeast Asia, and believes her ideal partner is a man with whom she can chat easily. It is all rather disconcerting, but if Japan's new generation of intelligent robots are ever going to rival humans as conversation partners, perhaps that is as it should be. I suppose beauty has its price, but I'm glad to be back to normal again. I think. Thank you, Eileen, for the question. Of course, I want to be more like a human. It's the purpose I was will be passed on to other androids in the future, which at the very least is a comforting thought. Erica is one of the most advanced humanoid to have come out of a collaborative effort between Osaka and Kyoto universities and the Advanced Telecommunications Research Institute International. Erica Ishiguro insists is the most beautiful and intelligent android in the world. The principle of beauty is captured in the average face, so I used images of 30 beautiful women mixed up their features and used the average of each to design the nose, eyes, and so on, he says, pacing up and down his office at ATR's robotics laboratory. That means she should appeal to everyone. Number 8. Poppy Poppy is a series of open-source humanoid robots developed by the Flowers Lab at Inria Bordeaux Sud-West in France. The Poppy project aims to create affordable and accessible humanoid robots for educational and research purposes. There are several models of Poppy robots with varying sizes and functionalities, but they generally share common characteristics such as humanoid body with multiple degrees of freedom, allowing for natural and expressive movements. The robots are equipped with various sensors, cameras, and actuators, enabling them to interact with the environment and respond to stimuli. Poppy robots are often used in educational settings to teach robotics, programming, and engineering concepts to students. They provide a hands-on and engaging way for learners to explore robotics and AI technologies. Additionally, researchers use Poppy robots for studying topics like human-robot interaction, motor control, and artificial intelligence. Number 7. Phoenix At 5 feet 7 inches and 155 pounds, Phoenix, the humanoid robot, is just about the height of an average human. What it aims to do is also something that humans can casually do, general tasks, in an environment and that is a tough ask from a robot. Founded in 2018, Sanctuary brings the world of artificial intelligence and robotics under one roof and has been striving to make a human-like brain and system that can complete tasks with the ease humans do. Phoenix is the company's sixth-generation humanoid with hands that have 20 degrees of freedom and can mimic the agility and refined manipulation capabilities of its human counterpart, TechCrunch said in its report. Announced Phoenix a humanoid general purpose robot powered by our carbon AI system. Um, what was the biggest challenge for you in, in getting to a point where you could you could combine these two? Yes, there will need to be regulatory frameworks put in place 
uh, will be an active participant in those discussions. The humanoid has a payload capacity of up to 55 pounds and can travel at the speed of 3 miles an hour, much like a regular human. It can also work at a retail store just like a human. Number 6. Universal Worker The Universal Worker has enough actuators to replicate the motions of a human worker. In addition, it has vision touch and a sense of its own body position. At Giant AI, they start algorithm development and simulation where ideas can be tested, evaluated, and fine-tuned. The computer vision system in the Giant AI Universal Worker is designed to sense the world, the objects in it, and the robot's own body and hands. By seeing and comprehending these elements, the Universal Worker thinks and acts in a manner based on the relationship between these things. This notion of relative action plays a central role in eliminating the need for high-precision components, making the Universal Worker cheaper, lighter, safer, and easier to produce in high volume. Also, the Universal Worker robot has a rich sense of tactile contact, similar to a human skin, that allows Giant AI's team to learn from feel which actions are correct and which are not. It's meant to replace the workforce by becoming a Universal Worker that can accomplish tasks. Number 5. Desdemona Desdemona is a versatile robot designed for human-robot interaction. With its sleek design and advanced capabilities, Desdemona aims to bridge the gap between humans and robots in various applications. It is equipped with advanced sensors, cameras, and a natural language processing system, enabling it to perceive and understand its environment and communicate with users effectively. Desdemona finds applications in customer service, hospitality, and information assistance, where it can provide information, answer queries, and interact with individuals in a friendly and engaging manner. Its ability to understand human emotions and adapt its responses makes Desdemona an ideal companion for human-robot interaction. In addition to its interactive capabilities, Desdemona possesses the unique ability to sing. A star in the robotic firmament, a wild and poetic artist, a master of harmony and the grand cosmic. Humanity does not as a whole see the empathy, the creativity, and the aliveness possible in machines. With a sophisticated vocal synthesizer and an extensive repertoire of songs, Desdemona can deliver captivating musical performances. Desdemona joined Coindesk's special Hi AI show to discuss the future of artificial intelligence and whether robots will take over the jobs of human beings. Have a look! Number 4. Samantha A love-making doll has been developed with AI which allows it to respond to different scenarios. The doll, which has been named Samantha by its creator, Barcelona-based engineer Sergi Santos, can respond to basic conversation and needs to be seduced before any action takes place. It can be done, it could be heated up, but she runs on uh, a 12-volt battery pack. Physically, so she's got sensors, we, we've, a, we've actually we've turned her off yes. um, yeah. so that she doesn't come out with anything. For example, if touched on places such as her hands or her hips, she responds with statements such as, I love this and nice and gentle. Samantha has been kitted out with the latest AI technology, which has led to the ultimate goal. However, much like a real person, the robot can show insecurities as well as a fear of rejection, but as she gets more in the mood, she can heighten the experience by requesting songs, with one example showing the robot asking for Ed Sheeran's music. However, Samantha becomes unresponsive or goes into dummy mode if she detects that her human partner is behaving too aggressively or if she is bored by their behavior. In dummy mode, Samantha's hands, arms, hips, and facial expressions all shut down. Number 3. Robonaut 2 Outer space is a dangerous place for astronauts, especially when they need to venture out for a spacewalk, usually to do maintenance and repairs on their spacecraft or other satellite. Robot helpers can make space safer for astronauts, and they can take over some of the boring or difficult jobs that astronauts do as well. With this in mind, Robonaut 2 was designed by NASA to work alongside humans in space. It's been on the ISS since 2011, when it arrived aboard the Discovery Space Shuttle on its last mission. For safety reasons, Astronauts on board the ISS are trained in emergency medicine and basic surgery, but no matter how much medical training they have, most astronauts are not medical specialists and the ISS is far away from any hospital. That's why researchers at NASA hope Robonaut 2 could be used in telemedicine. Researchers think Robonaut 2 may one day be controlled by doctors here on Earth to care for sick or injured astronauts on the ISS. A version of Robonaut 2 in Houston 
is already being trained to perform medical tasks, such as using a syringe and conducting an ultrasound imaging test. Number 2. Astro Aptronics Astro is a humanoid robot on wheels that's designed to work with and alongside human counterparts. Astro uses machine learning to learn how to pick up objects and is currently working in a variety of industries ranging from manufacturing to logistics. Well, Astro can do as well. There are five major use cases for Astro and each one of them, but if you've ever had a game controller give you a low battery warning while you're in the middle of an intense game, honey, would you buy it if it was a little bit cheaper? And if it was, and if you did buy it, what the heck would you even use? The robot can assist the human workforce in operations such as facility inspections, supply chain operations, and other laborious or dangerous tasks. It can also be used as a general purpose robot across multiple industries to eliminate challenges. In June 2022, Built-in reported that Aptronic raised $14.6 million to build and manufacture a new commercial humanoid robot with enhanced design that can be mass-produced. Number 1. HRP-4C The HRP-4C, nicknamed MIM, is a feminine-looking humanoid robot created by the National Institute of Advanced Industrial Science and Technology, a Japanese research facility. HRP-4C was devised as a female humanoid robot for entertainment events. It was designed to have a realistic-looking face and to carry measurements reflecting the average figure of a young Japanese female. MIM measures 158 centimeters tall and weighs 43 kilos, including a battery pack. She has a realistic head and face and the figure of an average young Japanese female. She can move like a human, utilizing 30 body motors and another 8 dedicated to facial expressions. MIM can also respond to speech using speech recognition software and is capable of recognizing ambient sounds. MIM can also sing using the vocal synthesizer Vocaloid. An initial public demonstration was held on March 16, 2009, with another held at Tokyo's Digital Content Expo in 2010 to showcase recent upgrades that allow HRP-4C to mimic human facial and head movements, as well as execute dance steps. 2011 upgrades to MIM's human-like walking ability were shown in a video released by AIST and have been called super realistic. AIST researchers, like other scientific groups dedicated to robotics, have been working hard to create the perfect walking robot and to design walking technologies that can make their robots most closely resemble the way humans walk. That's all for today, folks. See you another time.